Good morning, Sally. Good morning, Thomas. Thanks for reaching out. And you have reached Thomas and Sally's World, a conversation show about reselling. Before we get started, talking about if Sally has any clue about what she's doing when she sources, um, smash the like button, smash the uh, dislike button. Do both of those things. Subscribe, click the bell, leave comments, like other people's comments, and tell your friends. Do it all because we need some engagement. Anyways, <laughs> Sally. Yes. You you still bad at this? I'm guessing you're still bad at this. No, I'm I'm getting better at it. I, I'll tell you the test was yesterday. I uh, we were over near the Goodwill shop, and I said I want to stop. Bill said uh, you're going to go into the Goodwill store. I said yeah, I'll just be a minute. Well, I was in there probably 15 minutes, and what I did, and I would highly recommend this, I walked around with my telephone. I grabbed a sweater that I thought, gee, that looks neat. And I took wow. the time to look it up and I didn't buy a thing. Wow. I know. You're serious. You did that? I did. I walked out without a thing. Bill thought I was sick, wanted to take me to the doctor, all that <laughs> stuff. But no, and I, I think, you know, initially when you're starting out, if you're going to play around with high-end brands, um, play around with things you're picking up for five bucks and under. Wait, so like, Sally, how long have we been doing this for? What? How long are we doing what for? Uh, how long I've been, how long have I been, you know, obviously coaching you three Can months. We, uh, get, no, I don't know. We started doing the, the videos in, uh, middle of June. Okay. And, okay. So, so that's all rough estimation, middle of June. And how long have I been telling you to look everything up before you buy it? Well, but you also told me mm -hmm. sometimes yep. just go in and not buy. Mm -hmm. yep. And I think if you're in and you're you're really buying is on your mind, you tend to forget the research part of it. Uh, because okay. so 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 how long? You didn't answer my question though. You kind of like you kind of like danced around it. So like, how long have I been saying to look every item up before you buy it? Just go in the store and look everything up. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe since middle of June. Okay, and it is. Uh, End of September, you're doing it. We got a touchdown. There's some growth, but you know, slow and steady wins the race. I, I have been doing it more and more. It's, I don't know, it's really hard. Uh, and, and I still can't tend to want to pick up things that I like. And, I, you know, I have no taste when it, I have great taste when it comes to my own clothes, I believe, but I can't buy for anybody else. Stop I, uh, it. You with a 50 hands. <laughs> you with the same shirt on every day. Look, Sally, you? Sally, everybody knows we record these videos in bunches. We recorded all these videos on Tuesday. Yeah. And I have not been wearing the shirt for three days in a row. Right. But I, I run out every 10 minutes and change mine, right? Well, you get so sweaty. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you make me sweaty. <laughs> okay, well, I have um I have some sweaters and some jackets today. And okay, sounds good. Did you, uh, how would you rate yourself? A, B, C, D, and then I'll give you a grade afterwards. I, I think it's relative to where I want to be. I think uh, I'm in, in regard to where I was, I think I'm up at least 50, 60%. Oh, mm -hmm. good. Okay, cool. I'm excited to see. Okay, okay. let's so, go, Sally. Quiz me. Number one. This is a lucky brand, large, large V-neck sweater. Yep. Oversized, which is good. It's become popular. What it looks like it's made of polyester. Yeah, it doesn't, you know, it really I, it, it doesn't have much on it. I'm, I'm sure it's polyester because I washed it. Average I, 15, I 17, 15 to 17 dollars shipped. Oh, oh no, don't do shit. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. 12, 12 to 14 dollars. I'm thinking that maybe I'm overpricing some of my stuff. Oh, I do the same thing. I tell you what to price that, and then I totally don't do it, and I'm an idiot. But yeah. okay. what it will actually sell at. This is a Moda International sweater. I picked it up because somebody told me that things with interesting cable knit and stuff might be good. It's in good shape, cowl neck, female, and it's a large Good size. Cowl neck is cowl neck is fine. Cable knit is always worth more money than just 
flat non cable knit front that's a strange pattern so it's going to be a longer tail i don't like i don't i don't think that's like a super popular trend like in a men's sweater if the whole thing is cable knit that's better you never see that kind of pattern on a men's sweater but moda international is not a banger i'm going to go with 15 dollars okay this is a, a brand i've got to do a little bit of repair there I'm not, it's not it's no big deal uh old time football i have no idea but i'm guessing not a ton of money um it, i could be totally wrong old time football could be one of these new brands that's worth a hundred bucks what's it made of uh it feels like just acrylic or something yeah that's what it looks like to me as well in fact, you know, if it doesn't scream, gee, I'm something other than acrylic, it probably is. I, I think it feels kind of chenille a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and it's that. Um, I'm going to go with $15 long tail. It looks big, so it's a decent size, but not something to get excited about. It isn't really that big. It's a full zip. Full zip is good. Yep. Yeah, full zip is always worth more than a, in the, in the order of rankings of a sweater. You got your flat, just in like, you got your flat front. That, let's say that's worth one. Collar, one and a half. Quarter zip slash half zip. That's a two. Full zip, three. So you'll get significantly mm -hmm. more money for a full zip than you will another one. Um, and then if you add in like a crazy pattern on it, that's a huge win. And then if you add on cable net, that's also a win. But so the, the best thing, Big, crazy pattern, full zip with a like shawl collar. I'm talking men, shawl collar with a little toggle, good brand and made of something like really exotic. That's when, that's when you'll really hit a home run. Frog fur? Toad, frogs don't have fur. Um, this is a uh, Tribune. Have you ever heard of it? Yeah, it's nothing exceptional. That's something I would not Look, ever pick up. That but, it's completely lined in satin. Oh, cool. And it has a quarter zip and it's a good, I'm, I'm not picking up any small sweaters anymore. They just, this is an extra large. Good, that's good. I'm, I'm gonna go with 16, 17. That'll up your, you know, that'll up it. Okay, now. I always have a problem with Izod sweaters. Some of them you say, oh yeah, that's a good pickup. This isn't, this is a, a complete cable knit. Yep. So that's a cable knit, super heavy. I'm guessing it's cotton because Izod never makes anything fancy, especially now. That's a new Izod too. The old Izods you can get about 30 bucks for and you like the acrylic cardigan things. And if they're the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they're the old, Izod Lacoste ones, those are worth, those are worth like 30, 35. And if they're the straight, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, there's the Izod logo, which means that it's not a banger because nobody wants to show that they like Izod. Um, but if you got the straight old Lacoste, I think it's Hathaway, which is the even, I could be wrong, but like the older version of Lacoste or the, the mm -hmm. company that made Lacoste long time ago, that's also good. Found that once and it was covered in holes. Anyways. Well, how much? 15. Okay. I'll say 13 even, not much. This is a brand called South Pole. South Pole, popular amongst the African-American crowd. Definitely their target market. That looks like, so the, the stripes, the ribs, not quite as good as cable knit, but better than just a flat front. It looks nice. You got a quarter zip. Is it cotton? It looks like some cotton poly blend. Yeah, I bet you're right. It's um, it's also an extra large. Good size. I'm gonna go with cotton poly blend. It might be. Yeah, it feels a little bit uh, slick. It should have a. Uh, yep. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the other one. Uh, fifteen, similar to the eyes up. Really? See, now I thought I was picking up sweaters that were worth a lot more. Nope. Definitely not. Okay. This is Land's End. 
Good. Land's End sells well. Popular brand. That that's really good. It looks like a wool blend, wool poly blend. If I had to guess, that that's a good one. That's a twenty dollars sweater, easy. And you are. Or, or, or. It doesn't tell me what it is, but I'm going to get. Oh, it. it will. Land's End often does it on the tag behind the neck. Tells me to block it and stuff like that. So I'm going to guess it has some cotton in it. Yep. Okay, well, I won't worry about it. How much? 20? 20. Yeah, that's the best one you picked up so far. Mostly because Land's End is a really good brand. It's cable knit. It's kind of got a good neck. Color's not super ideal, but it's for Land's End, you'll, you'll get a hit on that. Okay, Polo. Good one. It looks just like your, your standard cotton um, quarter zip, right? 100% cotton quarter zip. Blue label, large. Yep. Uh, yep. 20 bucks. 18. 18 if you're eight, 20 bucks if you really wait. It looks like a good size, too. Yeah. Okay. This is called Abito, A B I T O. So that's a great pattern. I don't know that brand. It looks like a women's sweater. Am I right? It is, and it's an acrylic poly. Yeah, I'm not excited about that, even though the pattern's cool. Yeah. 12, 13, 14 dollars. This next one looks pretty money though. This one. Okay. Brand is Lucky Brand. Okay. That looks like some sort of woolish blend. Wool acrylic blend. That's a nice sweater. I'm gonna go with 20, 20 to 22. You know, I should have written down though. Nah, I just like looking smart. And then you're going to be like, no, Thomas, it's 100% yak fur. I'd be like, oh. I think it is. How did you know that? What? Wool poly blend? No, yak. Oh, I just made that up. I can't. Because it's it. a. So 20 bucks? Yeah. That, that's the winner so far. That's a cool. You might even get 25 for it just because it's a really cool pattern sweater. Okay. Common brand Dockers. It's heavy. I never picked that up. That's a $10 to $12 sweater. Okay. Nothing exceptional at all. Dockers just aren't worth it, right? No, it's very similar to Izod, but the Izod was cooler because it was thicker. This is another Dockers. I got it because sometimes I have people who like that Argyle. Argyle's, Argyle's another decent thing. I, I sold a vintage Brooks Brothers Argyle sweater today that was Shetland wool. I was expecting it 40 bucks for it. And I got 25, but it had been up for a long time. So who knows? Nothing special. A same thing as last one, $10. maybe $12. Okay. And then the last one I picked up because it was pretty. Okay. It's, it's called point of view, but it says by great Northwest. And you picked up because it was pretty. Um, I'm gonna go with hard no, uh, not great. Also hard to take a really good photo of on a flat lay. Um, I don't know, 13, 14, $15, unless I'm absolutely missing something. Like it's a brand that's a total banger I don't know about, but I'm okay. guessing it's not. Okay, 10 to 12, something like that. Okay, now we're gonna go get to jackets. And okay. I wanna tell you why I picked up some things. This is a brand I've never heard of, rewind okay so not a great brand i'm guessing it's sold at like target or walmart or something but that is a dope pattern that's called buffalo plaid that sells every time you'll get 20 bucks 25 for that easy mostly because of the pattern and the full zip but otherwise i would never pick up that brand that's just a really really good pattern because it's in right now and it's that time of year how much will i put it on 25 yeah, but on 25. Okay. Dutch Harbor Gear. Why did you get this? I got this because uh, I live in an area where people are heavy duty outdoor people and Dutch Harbor Gear is, uh, is a working brand. Okay. It, it's stuffed, it's stuffed, but it's not, you know, just with uh, poly. I don't know the brand. The fact that it's stuffed with poly, but is like a thick puffer means yeah. that it's not a great brand. I'm guessing you might get 20 bucks for it, but I'd be happy with that. The nice thing about coats is that 
there's almost always a higher selling price, but the problem is they take up a lot more space. So right. I really want to make sure that if I'm selling a coat, it's a banger. Okay, this one. Um, this is Eddie Bauer. It's loose down fill. Nice. It's a men's extra large. The vest? It's a vest. And I sold. I did, I did your tennis ball thing with it where I put about six or seven tennis balls in, ran it on uh, light heat, and it just fluffed it up beautifully. Fluffed it up beautifully. I would, I sold. I think mine was a thicker, like bigger puffer, but I sold it today for forty dollars. Well, I put this one out. Forty bucks. So that's the winner of the day so far, because number one, the brand is good. Number two, it's down. Number three, full zip. Number four, good size. What's up? What do you got next? What what terrible thing did you pick up here? I, joju, 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 no. Oh, Juju. Uh, nothing exceptional at all. It's similar to the Rewind one, but that is a, I'd say even less desirable brand with a less cool pattern. And I'm women? guessing, yeah, it's obviously, yeah, it's definitely women's. You might get 15. Okay, this is really out of my ballpark, but I just picked it up because I like Whoa. It. That is awesome. What is it? It's Kazana, K-H-A-Z-A-N-A. -A -A. That looks old. Is it old or new? How do I know? I don't know. What the freaking, where is it made? It's called Taj Kazana. Okay, where is it made? You know what? I think this is reversible. No. No, it's I, not. I do not know where it was made. Okay, that, so I looked that up. That could be worth hundreds or it could be worth unsellable. Could be one of these brands that's just like made in Indonesia and it was made in the 90s, just kind of like a one-off thing. And it could be worth nothing or it could be some very popular like Indian garb and be worth hundreds. I'm going to put that in the maybe best of the day, but more than anything, if you had that on a mannequin, it would sell super fast just yeah, because it is so freaking cool shall i put it on a mannequin with like a black uh sheet? no 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 just put it on a mannequin because it's going to cover up the whole thing it's got like pot, it's got some zipper hook eye thing it's got little uh buttons and it's got spare buttons on it yeah so no that's that's just, a good item i better look it up huh look look that yeah that's i'm gonna i'm gonna say that's the best pickup of the day and i'm gonna say by far could be totally wrong though, okay. just based on what it looks like and the fact you get extra buttons. Ooh, H. This is. Oh, that's lit. Disneyland, extra large. That's oh, awesome. That's a good not... one. That'll sell ASAP. When, when you photo that, the, you want to make the first photo the back of it okay because and even have the hood hanging down a little bit so they can see that it's hooded but that stamp on the back that embroidery is no 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 flip the hood so it looks normal i don't know what you mean well so it's, it's inside out right now isn't it yeah flip the hood so it looks normal yeah like that yeah cool and just make sure it doesn't hang over the disneyland thing yeah yes. so when you take a photo that's great. Uh, 30 bucks. That'll sell quick too. Okay. Here's the last one. Ooh, uh, buddy. I think this is, I think this is a good one. It's very heavy. It's Bill Blass. Okay. It has a wool liner that is a zip out liner. Has a leather hanger tag. So that's the, so that's the kind of item that's going to be I would say longer tail, just because it's not a super desirable. That yeah, that's a beautiful lining, just because it's not a super desirable brand. But I'll also say that it's a beautiful piece that's very practical with the wool liner. Um, you'll get fifty. Are you there? Yeah, my friend keeps calling me, so I have to keep declining it. Um, you'll get fifty bucks for it, but you're going to have to wait on it for a little bit. Okay, I don't mind. So, um, so, okay. So if I degrade you, 
Are we done? Is, are are you done? You're yeah, tapping out. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm kind of my dob my dauber's down a little bit because I really I know, I can tell. better. Yeah, but I don't. You know, yeah. I'm not finding things that are worth more than about fifteen dollars. But so so here's the problem: Are you not finding those items, or are you not recognizing those items? And I always think I always think it's you don't recognize the items, not you, but the proverbial you. Because anytime I go anywhere, I can always find that type of stuff. I'm going to places that have a lot of stock. Mm -hmm. So I just need to go and spend an hour looking up, looking up. Yeah, that's all it is. It, it's just the reps. It's just doing the reps. Um, I, I would give you a, this is, <laughs> Sally's down in the dumps. Let's really dump on her. I'm not going to grade you. I take it back. Shall I give up? buying sweaters and jackets it's no. winter it's almost christmas why shouldn't i move on to spring almost christmas. it's not even q4 it's almost christmas i know but sally days, sally but... cheer up sally you've 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 done a lot more you've done a lot more terrible things in your life than pick up a few sweaters for a dollar yeah and if that's the thing I, I i'm not taking big risks these are usually two dollars and fifty cents three dollars five dollars at the most exactly okay so just to showboat, I'm going to show you some ringers and I'm going to show you why they're ringers. And I'm also going to tell you what I paid for them because I paid up for some of them, but I'm going to tell you why I paid up for them. Sound right, good? I'm interested in the brands. Okay. So we'll go first. So this one is not especially great due to the brand, but if you look yeah. at the tag, it's old and it is Hickey Freeman, Bobby Jones collection, 50% linen, 50% silk made in Italy with a really cool pattern. Okay. So this is exceptional, not because it's Bobby Jones, but Hickey Freeman is a pretty good brand. If you ever see a suit, you can usually get 40 bucks for it pretty easy. And when you buy a suit, you want a smaller size, anything between like 38 to 46 is ideal. When you start getting into the bigger sizes, they just don't sell very well because those guys like, I don't know. I tend to think that if you're a big guy, you're probably not rising up. This is totally stereotyping. You're oh, probably you're, not oh, rising up. We're done. We're done. Yet. You can go there. Okay. Next one. So we just have a black coat, right? Looks but why did I pick up this black coat? Because I felt it and it's very, very soft. Also, so when you look at the top of a coat, you'll see, usually it'll say where it's made. Sometimes when it's old, it'll say made in Czechoslovakia, made in West Germany. That lets you date things to the 80s, right? That's where things were made. Sometimes made in Romania, made in Moldova. Those are old, not usually branded, not usually worth picking up. Unless you want to sit on like a, just a standard wool coat and get 50 bucks for it in like a year. Like it won't sell quick, but it, it'll be a really nice one. But this one, made in Italy. Whenever you see made in Italy on a coat, check it out. On a sweater, doesn't mean much at this point. On a shirt, doesn't mean much. But on a coat, it means much because coats are more expensive. So if you're looking at this coat, there's no tag on that side. There's no tag on that side. The buttons don't have anything written on them. So how did I identify this? I identified it because I know what this tag here, which is just the side tag. I know what this tag is. I've seen it before I'm able to recognize it. This is a Cinzia Roca coat. So it's worth a solid $200, even though it's just wool. I, I just know that looking at that side tag, it's worth money, which are is you, crazy. Are but, you so sure that you would say that that's the kind of code it is and not be able to prove it? Yeah, absolutely. Without, without any question. Because if someone looks up um, this Rodell SPA brand, the only company that it, that it goes to is this brand called Cinzia Roca. That's going to be way out of my wheelhouse for a while. I know. It, it's just one of those things like it says made in Italy. It's made of good fabric. It feels really nice. 
So it's the kind of thing that I, oh, if there's one tag, it. what? What did you pay for it? You said you were gonna- 10 to $15. I paid, I think $8 for that sweater. Okay. Um, and the reason I didn't have to pay a bunch of money for that coat is because they, no one knows what it is besides someone with a lot of experience. So if you didn't know what that coat was, you would type in into Google or maybe I don't even, I don't think it'd pop up on eBay. You type in the, like the words that come up on the tag. I don't even think there's an RN number on that tag and it'll tell you like the details of it. So this is just a, this is just a, a like a, a sweater, but it's a wool sweater that's cowl neck. So if you look up on the neckline, there's no tag here. There's not a single tag but it feels nice. Again, this is a differentiator if it feels nice. So how do I know what it is? Because if you look on the bottom, it's got a tag down here. Really old sweaters that are high quality, especially a brand called Pringle, often only have the tag on the inside of the side. So okay. this one is made, this is Pendleton, size 40, women's 100%, 100% cashmere, 100% cashmere sweater. Pendleton doesn't make cashmere things anymore. As far as I know, I never find them. So this is freaking old. I don't totally know what it's worth. I'm guessing like 40, 50 bucks, but I paid the same thing I paid for that other one, eight bucks. This next one, no, we'll save that one for last. This next one is by a brand that everyone will recognize, but that thrift stores also recognize. So this is just a leather vest, really thin, but it's by the brand name Vince. So why did I pick this one up, even though it's Vince and I paid like, I don't know, 10 bucks for it? Because it's real leather. So this is another thing to differentiate someone who like is good and not as good because they're pretty good with pleather these days. You can feel pleather and kind of move on, but I recognized the brand. So I knew to look up whether or not it's leather or not, and it's leather might even be lamb leather maybe look let me look just regular leather um so i did like again i say look everything up but i know it i know at this point like this is worth money i don't even need to look it up just based on what it on the on the fabric which is leather and then the brand i'm looking at money there so then this last one here i paid up for i think i paid 40 bucks for it so this is a coat it's nice. It's a wool coat. You could say, Thomas, you're an asshole for you're you're douched for finding all these nice wool coats. But this wool coat says fabric woven in Italy, made in China. And when you're when you're sifting through all the coats at the line, a lot of times the only thing you'll be able to see, unless you open up the flap, this is similar to blazers, is this thing on the top. So this thing on the top that says where it's made will give you a lot of information on like whether or not you should you should bona fide open it and see what the flap says. So this one is nice. Brooks Brothers. Anyone would recognize this coat as being really nice. It's a Brooks Brothers coat, right? Okay, I'm gonna price that up. But what really separates this coat from the others is this tag right here. So anytime you see a tag that says this on it, Loro Piana, Sport Fabric Storm System, Loro Piana anything, you're looking at quality. The least you'll ever get for anything with Laura Piana on it has to be 40 bucks. Like if you find a lower end, like Bill Blass old uh, blazer that's made of uh, Laura Piana wool, you're still looking at 40 bucks because Laura Piana is like the highest end uh, knitting mill in Italy. They use the, like the absolute best fabrics. They have Guanaco, they have Vicuña. They, they have sweaters and jackets that sell for $30,000 on their websites. Mm. Like they're not playing around and they loan out their fabrics just, you know, obviously to make more money to these lower brands and those brands that use it, you'll never get the money that you get from a true Laura Piana piece. But that coat right there, when I list it, will sell in a week for $200 easy. Right now there's a loose button on top. So I got to get my girlfriend to fix it for me, but 200 bucks easy will sell very quickly because that is like a dream coat for most people. So to run through why I picked up these items. First sweater I picked up because it was vintage. It was made of linen and silk. 
which is something to really pay out for it. Wasn't just cotton, wasn't polyester, wasn't just wool. Like if you have a polo piece that says on the tag that it's made of like 2% alpaca, alpaca, pick it up. It's almost always worth money just for that reason. It could be like 98% wool, 2% alpaca. You'll get 40 bucks for it when you'd only get 20 bucks for a wool sweater. The second one I picked up was a, I think it was that Cinzia Roca coat. Yeah. I, identif I identified that tag. And if you I didn't identify exactly, if you didn't identify that tag, you would have to type in the thing on it and you'd figure out what it was worth. I think the next thing was a, the next thing was that old Pendleton sweater. There was no tag on the back of the neck, but I felt that it was nice. So I did a little bit more looking, found it on the side tag. The next one was that leather vest. Oftentimes leather slash pleather vests aren't worth anything. You'll find like Juju and Rewind will make those things. Won't be worth any more than $15, but that piece due to the brand and the fact that it's leather is a big pickup. And this last coat, like I normally, would not pick up a Brooks Brothers wool coat if the thrift store priced it at 40 bucks because that's only worth $60. There's just not enough meat on the bone for it. Oh, because it had the piano. Because it has the lower piano that bumps it up to 200 bucks. So it, it's so these are small little different differentiators that can tell you that can get you that you that allow you to find those pieces that are, you know. Like normally you find a lot of $25, $30 pieces, but this is one of the ways that will help you get those $50, $60, $100, $200, $300 pieces. Just out of curiosity, do you remember where you were thrifting this? Was it a thrift store? Was it a private sale? Do you, do you have There's a thrift store. I got them all at the same thrift store. Hmm. Well, um, I think you're going to come visit me one of these days. Um, yep. And when you do, I really have some good places. Uh, maybe we can uh, video taking a look there. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, I think I'm going to, I've got a lot of listing to do today. I'm going to maybe go to one of my really good places. It's it's not a busy day in there. And I might even take my GoPro with me and show you what I'm doing uh, when I'm going through. And then do we'll it. Talk about it maybe next I, I say do it not for the YouTube channel, but just to show me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. that'll be good for you all right well listen this has been kind of a heavy day for me i'm not liking it <laughs> <I can tell. laughs> we were all like we we're all like man this is going to be good this is better than the hiring thing no i'm sulking sally is dumping over here ready yeah. to be done well i think i'm gonna go over and you know get back on that horse and ride it and and just try to do a better job i'm so sick and tired of picking up sweaters that are worth 15 dollars, even if i only pay 250 for them mm -hmm. Um, it's I, a lot of work. It's not yeah. my business model. It's not your business model. It is. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to go on to jeans next. Are you any good at jeans? I'm not Andy, but we'll have Andy on next week. Oh, okay. I have a whole bunch of jeans. I don't think he'd even want to look at them, but um, mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure out, we'll figure out something, uh, something fun with that. Tomorrow is our day and we're going to talk about a platform I've never heard of. We're going to talk about Kitizen. I've never sold on it, but we're going to do some research on it so that I'm not the only person and I'm no longer clueless on it. So check us out tomorrow. In the meantime, smash the like button, subscribe, click the bell, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, like other people's comments, reply to our comments, tell your friends, do everything. We need engagement. We don't even care what you say. You can say, man, I hated this video. Thomas, you almost made Sally cry, but... <laughs> No, you, Let you're us not know. That powerful. You are not that powerful. <laughs> I don't know. Look at you. You're, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> no, no. If you okay, ever see me cry, call, you know, call the ambulance or something because I'm on the way. <laughs> okay. I'll All talk right. to you tomorrow, tomorrow, Sally. All right. Bye. Bye.